11 years, 22 films, has all come to this. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and yes, this is the day. This is my non-spoiler Avengers Endgame review. So if you have not seen the movie, you are okay. I'm not going to spoil anything. However, I do suggest you go in with an open mind. So I suggest that you actually click off this video, come back after you've watched Avengers Endgame because it's really awesome. Some of the things that you get to experience for the first time. And so I don't want to take anything away from you. And also, before I do this review, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. I post on the weekly, so get up to date with everything that I am doing and subscribe. This is my review for Avengers Endgame. Again, non-spoiler. This movie stars a whole bunch of people, and it is directed by the Russo brothers. I have been looking forward to this film ever since Infinity War. This was my most anticipated film of the year, and I love Star Wars more than anything else, but this was the film that I was most anticipating. I went back and forth on whether I anticipated this or Star Wars more, but I have to say it's this film, and this film delivers. Oh boy, does this film deliver. So let me start off with the cons. There's only a couple things, and you can really nitpick this movie to death. That's one thing I will say. Like There are things that you can nitpick the crap out of, and I'm not going to deny that. But my biggest problems was the pacing in the first act. The first act felt necessary because they're trying to establish the setting. They're trying to tell this story so that way everything else will kind of fall into place and make sense. But it is slow. This movie takes its time. That's not a horrible thing. It's not a bad thing. But it just it felt like there were certain scenes that they could have done without in this film. And there's some scenes that I feel like they should have explained a little bit more. And in my spoiler review, I'll get into those scenes for my talking all spoilers. But there are times where I felt like the editing could have been better in these certain spots because I feel like they could have done without this, but they could, they could have added this. Another con for me is it seemed like there's a, there's a couple times in this film where things just happen by circumstance. I, I can't get into it because, again, it's really hard to review a movie like this without going into spoilers, but I'm going to try to work my way around this. There are times in the movie where it just kind of feels like coincidentally things happen that the characters want to happen. It just, to me, kind of seemed like lazy writing. Now, they could have explained it more in detail, you know, in like deleted scenes or something. It just felt lazy to me. It, it felt kind of... And there was one scene in particular that I'm not going to get into, but there's one scene in particular, and before going in, I was like, there's no way they're going to do this, because that would just kind of be lazy, and I was wrong. They did it, and I, I can't believe that they did it, because it just kind of felt like a cop-out, in my opinion. Let's get into the pros. Overall, this movie is amazing. It's, it's incredible. The third act of this film, I'm going to tell you this right now, third act of this film is the greatest third act in comic book movie history, it is the greatest third act I think I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen a lot of good third acts, and this third act carries this movie. Oh, oh my gosh, does this, this carry this movie. There are so many geeky things that happen. I'm not the type of person that gets like super giddy in a theater. Like I'll clap and stuff like Avengers Infinity War, I clapped and I got excited for stuff. And I knew that I was going to clap in this movie as well at certain parts, but I did not expect to be giddy, guys. I was like, <laughs> like I, I couldn't control myself throughout the entire movie. And there was one spot in the, in the third act where because of everything I was looking at, I started to feel tears in my eyes and I kind of started swelling up a little bit. And this third act is, is incredible. I, I can't wait to do my spoiler review and talk about this third act because Oh my gosh, it, does this movie have an amazing payoff? Everything that is established through the first and second act of this film. Now this is a three hour long movie, so the first two hours, everything that is set up in those first two hours for the third act, the third hour, the movie pays off. And oh my gosh, does it do it in strides. Like, it is incredible what I saw and what I witnessed. And I, I am just so grateful to the Russo brothers for just making a movie like this you can tell that they're true nerds that they're true fans and this is a movie for fans fans are going to love 
this movie. They are going to love it. One thing I will say, another pro for me is I thought with this movie, because a lot of the trailers I was a little nervous about because I was like, oh, you know, what are they showing in the trailers? They didn't really show us anything, but I was maybe hinting at that maybe they did, but in the context of us, you know, not understanding because they probably took stuff out from the trailers. But I got to say, they showed us nothing. I am really surprised. Now, I will say this. The whole first 15 minutes is baloney. Uh, there is stuff in the trailers that are, in, you know, third act stuff. Oh, my gosh, guys. Like, I, I don't even know how to put in words this movie. Uh, this might be my favorite. It might be my favorite MCU film. Now, I'm going to go see it again for a second time today at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to solidify that feeling, hopefully, today, watching it a second time. And I can't wait to see the, the, the audience's reaction. I, I just, I, I love it. I, I can't wait to see that uh, now that I know how everything plays out. But yeah, I have to definitely give it another watch. This is a movie that you will love. You will love this movie. So it was a blast. There's a lot more humor than I thought there was going to be. And you get to see some amazing character conversations. And you get to get some character dynamics. And I, and I love that about this film. Anyway, guys, what did you think of Avengers Endgame. Do not spoil anything in the comments section. Do not spoil the Endgame because if you do, you're a complete douchebag. Yeah, don't spoil this movie for anybody. I mean, this is a movie that people should have the opportunity of seeing themselves without having anything told to them. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.